Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be doing the metal analysis for Prime Mr. Incredible that just recently came out in the entire Incredibles 2 collaboration that we have going on this week. Now, just like usual, I do have the metal analysis article already available up for you guys to see right now uh, up on my website at khuxnation.com. Patreon members usually get a sneak peek preview to the actual articles themselves before they get shown to the public. And now that this video is out, Prime Mr. Incredible is now available for all of you guys to see if you wish to go ahead and check it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the metal analysis. Okay, so Prime Mr. Incredible is a power upright tier 5 metal AoE cost 3 gauges with a score with a 6 star score of 31.682 and a 7 star score of 54.387. For the 6 star version of the metal, he has a total max multiplier of a 7.05 to 11.8 zero and a seven star version he has his total max multiplier from 19.95 to a 24.55 and this is his ability for one turn he raises your guilt bonus by 70 percent he adds three enemy counters and he inflicts more damage with more party members and the seven star version of the metal does the exact same thing except it has the uh, plus three upright strength buff and the guilt buff actually increases from 70 percent to 90 percent as well Okay, so in terms of skills and traits, the best skills that you're going to want to put on Mr. Incredible are pretty much literally only going to be attack skills, primarily because of the fact that there's really no other reason to put any other type of skill on him. Um, and in terms of best traits, because of the fact he's pretty much just a damage metal, any of the minus 60 defense traits will be good for him, as well as raid boss in case you know you want to do raid boss with him. Um, and especially extra attack. The only reason you would want extra attack for this metal is quite literally only because of the plus three counters that he provides. Uh, otherwise, the extra attack is really just kind of, it's just kind of there. Now, in terms of what I think about this metal, to be honest, Prime Mr. Incredible is not very good. I kind of somewhat mentioned it and uh, and talked about it a little bit in the uh, banner advice video last time, but. Prime Mr. Incredible is is very lackluster compared to some of the other Prime Metals already existing in the game. Now, if you recall, Mr. Incredible does a couple of things, okay? One, he provides a guilt buff of 70% or at 7 star, which is pretty much what we're going to be looking at. Uh, he provides the 90% guilt buff instead. That is currently the highest guilt buff in the game with Kyrie and Shion EX Plus being second at 80% guilt buff instead. In terms of multipliers though, he's actually really bad in terms of damage, which is kind of ironic because of the fact that it's Mr. Incredible, his superpower is supposed to be, you know, brute strength. And just kind of like how his catchphrase is, Mr. Incredible is supposed to be the guy where there's heavyweight problems, there's a heavyweight solution, okay? However, Mr. Incredible is not that solution. <laughs> Okay, he is literally uh, one of the weakest prime metals probably in the game right now. And quite honestly, metals such as like, I, I mentioned it previously in, in the banner advice video, but metals such as like uh, Key Art 17, uh, Prime Woody, and Prime Buzz Lightyear already have higher multipliers compared to Mr. Incredible. So in that aspect, using him as a damage metal honestly doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. Uh, so that the only things left to actually consider would be the plus 90% guilt and the enemy counters plus three that he provides. In terms of the plus 90% guilt though that he has, it's honestly not a big deal at all, at all whatsoever. And you can pretty much say that because of the fact that his damage is so low, it actually makes trying to use his plus 90 percent not very good uh because of the fact that that plus 90 percent is basically trying to make up for the fact that he doesn't have a very high multiplier and just to kind of give you guys an example of this just to show you i went ahead and put together some setups on khuxtracker.com okay and just for the sake of like argument's sake and everything i i made i, I tried to put together one of like a really strong setup uh, using the Fenrir 
and just for like idealistic purposes sake we also made them like most of them just seven stars okay so right here is like a possible scenario in which you would normally think you would try to use mr incredible if you already have a metal like Kyrie ex plus for example the main idea here is that oh okay i have Kyrie ex plus in slot one i guess i'll use her to get all my buffs and debuffs so that way my mr incredible can do max damage on top of my Mr. Incredible over here has the plus 90% guilt buff, which will take place over the 80% guilt buff that the Kyrie EX Plus over here has. And then that way we can just steamroll from here, okay? Makes sense, right? That's what you would normally think. However, this is actually not the case at all whatsoever. Like I mentioned before, because of the fact that his multipliers are actually so low, um, it's honestly, it, it does like almost nothing. Quite literally, if I replace uh, Mr. Incredible over here with one of the previous medals that I mentioned, like, uh, like Buzz, for example, if we take a look at this, you can see that his, the damage of the overall setup actually increased uh, a little bit. Now, granted, it wasn't a, a lot, in terms of damage but this is just going to show you guys that the plus 90 percent honestly does not do anything at all whatsoever and because of the fact his multiplier is so low it actually can somewhat harm your setup uh and you're just better off using metals like well prime buzz lightyear and that's just that's just replacing him with buzz lightyear if you already happen to have Kyrie ex plus in the first place okay you, you, you just want to use all your strongest damage metals, period, okay? Like, this isn't even taken into account if you just replace Buzz or Mr. Incredible with just another really strong damage metal, period, like uh, HD Kari and Sora EX, for example, which just drastically shot up the damage <laughs> quite a bit by, like, another 3 million or so on, on the website. So uh, I, I'm, I'm showing you this to show you guys that, like, quite literally, Mr. Incredible is not a very good metal. Uh, at least not like what you would try to use him for anyways. And you're much better off just using some of the other prime metals instead. So now that begs to differ. If his multipliers suck compared to other prime metals we already have. And his guilt buff isn't very good at all whatsoever either because of the fact like his multipliers suck. Then the only thing left about this metal that actually makes it even worth wanting to have or use in the first place is going to be the plus three. Okay. The plus three counters is quite literally his most is only redeeming feature. Uh, and it's even better because of the fact he's AoE. In some situations, this is pretty much going to be like a kind of like a nerfed version of Lexius Plus, because Lexius Plus is the other metal within the game that provides plus three counters. Okay, the only ones higher than that so far are Miguel and Dante and uh, Scrooge McDuck. So, in terms of like comparing Lexius Plus and Prime Mr. Incredible. Um, the only thing that Prime Mr. Incredible has over Lexius Plus is the fact that he's AoE. That's probably going to be his most redeeming feature is the fact he's AoE and also provides plus three counters, whereas Lexius Plus actually has a really good multiplier. <laughs> Um, and as but is single target instead so it's a little bit of a trade-off the only instance that you would even want to use mr incredible is if you really need that aoe uh, for whatever reason okay so now just like i usually do within my metal analysis videos i'm gonna go ahead and look at prime mr incredible while comparing him to all the other metals in the game um but we're gonna be looking at tier five metals for right now because he is a tier five metal so if we organize the the spreadsheet by score which already is uh, we can see that Mr. Credible is actually right here. Remember, this is his six-star version as well. Uh, he has a score of 31.682. Um, and he's actually pretty high up on the list, which honestly kind of makes sense because any prime metal that comes out right now is going to be expectingly more or less be among the best metals for any of the older tiers, okay? Um, just because of the fact that most of the older tiers are just severely outdated and don't really have very good abilities anymore for today's meta. But aside from copy medals at least, uh, there's only a handful of other medals that are actually above Mr. Incredible. There's only five actually, but Mr. Incredible is still not that bad of a medal compared to the other tier five medals. Now, if we wanna go ahead and take a look at his total max multiplier, we're gonna sort the spreadsheet by uh, total max multiplier real quick. If we scroll down quite a bit, we see Mr. Incredible drops down to like super low uh, in the spreadsheet. Like he's actually like less than halfway down the spreadsheet, okay, which is pretty bad. Uh, but he has a total max multiplier of 7.05 
which compared to many other medals in the game isn't very good even heck even sp vanitas over here has a higher multiplier hd ursula has a higher multiplier that is single target though um it's just he's he's very low on the list now granted if you remember he does deal more damage with more party members so the chances are that you're gonna have zero party members aside from yourself uh within your party to actually achieve that 7.0 multiplier is gonna be very low unless you happen to be trying to switch parties or something okay um so the most part we're gonna be looking he's gonna probably be near or at least you know r roughly halfway to near his alternative total max multiplier which we will go ahead and sort so we do it by total max alternative total max multiplier instead prime mr incredible actually rises up quite a lot uh within the against the other tier five medals and he's actually let's see one two three four five six seven he's actually in eighth place compared to the other tier five medals within the game okay with a multiplier of 11.8 uh, one thing worth pointing out is that aside from Prime Illustrated Roxas, uh, Prime Mr. Incredible is one of the strongest AoE tier 5 medals in the game, with the other medals right above him pretty much being single target and with the random target lingering will as well. Okay, so it's not, in terms of an AoE medal for tier 5, it's actually not that bad. And if we want to go ahead and look at the 7 star versions of the medals and compare it by the alternative total max multiplier. We can see right here that Prime Mr. Incredible actually is like right here, still pretty much near within the top, uh, but there is a whole lot more medals within the game that are actually like stronger than Prime Mr. Incredible. However, he still stays as the second strongest uh, AoE tier 5 medal within the game with Prime Illustrated Roxas being first uh, right above him. Okay, But the rest of them are AoE or single target. So just to kind of go back to what I was talking about before and show you guys. So if we take a look at Prime Mr. Credible's alternative total max multiplier, which is 24.7 at his highest. I just want to go ahead and show you guys the tier 4 alternative total max multipliers as well. Just to kind of compare to him to show you guys what I was talking about. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sort this. Okay, so remember that the Prime Mr. Credible at 7 star his highest multiplier is 24.7 and he is AOE. If we look at tier four, like I mentioned before, like there's a ton of metals that are just stronger than him. Stronger than 24.7, all right here, okay? Um, now, granted, most of them are single target. However, if we want to compare just the AOE metals, we do see the prime Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and Kiart 17 being significantly higher than Mr. Incredible himself uh, with a alternative total max multiplier of 31.92 with their conditions being that they do more damage when there's one enemy left. Okay. Now that also means too though that if you're not able to have just one enemy left, uh, Prime Mr. Incredible is actually stronger than those three medals would be because of the fact that their condition would not be met. So let's say you're fighting a mob of enemies, Prime Mr. Incredible would be stronger because of the fact that they would only be doing a 21.71 multiplier instead. Now, after stating that, I do want to bear in mind that because of the state of the game right now, killing enemies and big mobs of bosses and stuff like that are actually really easy within the game right now. And it's not actually very often that you actually fight a whole mob of super high level enemies at the same time. Most of the time, if you're going to be fighting a really high level enemy, it's going to be just one or two people at at, at a time okay in which case you're probably better off still just using the prime buzz light your woody or q at 17 uh, so that's just something to take into consideration but other than that that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way to know when i upload more videos such as this one by all means please let me know what you think about the metal and the metal analysis itself down in the comment section down below but other than that my name is brian from kingdom martin cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.